Fi get ready in your city that a couple milli Warning, 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 warning If you are a person who is offended easily when you hear curse words, dancehall music you're not into that type of thing, please leave this video alone. They pussy with me, me go sing God. All right, with that said, welcome back to SoFlo TV again, everybody. It is your host with the most. This one right here is a review of a song by Vibes Cartel called The Comet. It's a review of the video and the song, which came out yesterday, September 13th, 2024. At the time when I checked, when I was doing my pen and paper, write out the song. It was already at 460,000 views in 14 hours and counting with over 11,000 comments on, on the video already. So that's to tell you that it's hot, okay? And people are chat. First of all, let me say, man, it's been, it's been 13 years. 13 years we've been waiting to see Vibes Cartel, the king of dancehall music, in a video in person. And that time is now. Oh, what a time to be alive, right? All right, check it. So the crowd is chanting, free world boss, free world boss, free world boss. This I like about the crowd chanting free world boss is that's a real crowd. You know, when time they must shoot movies or when they're doing music videos, they normally like hire actors and actresses and get a group of people, pay them like $5 an hour each or something and say, go. And everybody is like, free world boss. But this, this, the comet, the comet is coming, is actually his real life story, right? And the people were out in the streets like that, in crowds like that, saying free world boss. I don't know if there are any other Jamaican entertainers who gets this type of fanfare. The actual comet, like a meteorite that was heading to Earth, that's in the video. And then he walks out of prison and he throws up the Gaza sign in the air, which is this, fingers locked. I can't do it on both sides because my hand is in a sling. I hurt myself, but that's another story, accident. So this wasn't acting, this was real life happening. People been waiting for years his fans, his friends, his family been praying and hoping for years that that day would come. And when the day forward, he stepped out of prison, threw up, him, um, threw up his Gaza sign, and he had on the bandana, the orange bandana, right, and the dark glasses. So that's in this video as well. Historical moment, after 13 years, he steps into his freedom. And then he takes a few steps, and guess what? Sedem is there to meet him. Sedem is... The new woman, not shorty anymore. And that is talked about in this song right here. I thought I told you that the comet is coming. I thought I told you that the comet is coming. That's what it kept saying. I thought I told you that the comet is coming. I joke this, he said. Is this a joke? He said, I joke this. The way that I read me a bud, it coming like weed with the Colombian them got. I quote this. You know, Cartel is a very lyrical person, he rhymes a lot also. So he was basically saying, this gotta be a joke. The rhythm that he's about to get on, the instrumental he's about to get on, it's bad. And he was like, the way this one is bad, it's bad like, and he referenced it to weed that the Colombians have. And then he said, I cork this. And you know, the Colombians are closely associated with cocaine and the coke trade, right? Right, all right, I joke this. The way that I read him my body coming like weed where the Colombian them got. I quote this. Simea said up to the time, Vibes Cartel. Signature. Simea said up to the time, right? Up to the time is from way back when. Simea said up to the time, hey, little Addy. And when he said, hey, little Addy, aren't you guys paying attention to the fact that Vibes Cartel and his sons? are locking dance hall down. The Palmers are taking over. Pay attention, right? Because he ain't doing no collab with nobody else except for his sons. But we'll talk about that. So boom, when he says, um, hey, little Addy, on the video, you can see little Addy hanging out the sunroof, throwing up the Gaza sign as well. Something his dad started. And now he's able to be a part of this movement, right? And them have UTG, which is Uptown Gaza, their own movement, younger generation. For the people who don't understand all this, I speak this way so everybody get on the same page. And then he says, at a teacher, yo, yo, verse one starts. He said, 
even in prison, I'm, I was making millions. And he's not talking about no millions of Jamaican dollars. He was talking about he was generating millions of dollars in cash. He, it, and it's, it's U.S. dollars he was generating. That's how that start out. Uh, but, so when you hear the song start out to him, say, all in a prison, me, I make millions. Me, I talk about U.S. dollar, nigga. He's talking about U.S. dollars. He was in prison making a lot. A bag a big song. Watch a fever. A bag a big song. Watch the fever. Fever! Pie you ponani. Wine for me be a bit. Everything Chris. Your good love make me turn on. Fever! Fever! Fever, he said here. A bag a big song. Watch the fever. It sell the gold and it sell the silver. In the video, he actually shows the plaques that came for fever. The gold and the silver. I'm a person that pays attention to everything because a lot of our artists have big songs, but if you check on the record to see who those big songs fall under, the some part of the song, if not the whole song, is owned by. Like the publishing rights or the mechanical rights or the disc rights or the copyright, the, whatever rights is owned by some other entity. Bad Cartel stuff never said anything other than his brand. You know what I mean? It never said Sony, it never said Arista, it never said Atlantic, it never said Def Jam. It said his brand, Adijahim Records. Boom. Write it, produce it, put it out to the world, own all rights to it. That's dope. Now, this part is where you get to see the unruly disrespectful cartel and they pussy with me, me go sing God. let me just say this i'm not trying to explain away that part of him because probably every dancehall artist ha has this braggadocia part about them yeah and you i think it goes with the profession where they have to be like kind of you know me i say set some things and yo how we are talk to man i'm not yeah move from ronnie son right but he was saying that the way he said in the song though he says me fuck your mother through the prison grill, <laughs> right? Me fuck your girl through the prison window. Wet up the pussy with me middle finger. The pussy with me middle finger. Then me dig it out hard with the timber. I think that's self-explanatory. While he was in prison, a lot of people was like, he ain't getting no pussy in prison, right? He locked up in prison. Even he said it in a song where he was bad to life. Listen, you can't get pum pum a prison. But now Cartel tell us, boy, you know, when he, when he did in there, I said, I fuck your mother through the prison grill, I fuck your sister through the prison window. The pussy with me, me go sing, God. He's not saying he actually got pussy while he was in prison and was fucking somebody's mother through the grill for real, right? Maybe he's talking about the power of his music, actually, right? Because Cartel kind of music is like this. When them tell a girl for skin out pan body, them do exactly that. Them skin out pan body. When them, and them tell, anything him tell them for do, they do exactly that. So him being in prison and saying stuff and having the control of their mind outside of prison could actually be what this means. Not necessarily disrespectful, but it sounds super disrespectful. Either way, it's not an apology. Dancehall music is, is unapologetic. I've always said this. Reggae music is like, like the Junior Gang, them type of music, you know me, I say Rich Forever, them kind of music. For them music is like church sister kind of something, right? The calm girl, the church sister, come and open the Bible and read a few psalms and pray. That the kind of music. And then you have dancehall music, which is ghetto people something, unapologetic, fling buckle, bust your head. Take out my ratchet and was, you know me, it's war, it's this, is that, is that. So, it's not apology, it's just me telling you what the energy that comes with this. Forget Addy. Then he said, forget Addy in a your city that a couple milli. US dollars. And it cannot fit in a your billy. Forget Addy in a your city that a couple milli. Your billy, which is your billfold, old word. Billfold, which is, you know, your billfold. People put money in a them uh, wallet for, another lack, for lack of a better word. He's saying to get him in your city, it's going to cost a couple million dollars. And he's talking about US dollars. And it cannot fit in a your billy. So the DJ them, when never want people see me, pussy who never want the judge to free me. Y'all got to remember something. 
but from me touch the microphone, you get evict. You see me? On a career cut short, like Nikki Mini. There are a lot of DJs who thought Vibes Cartel going to prison for 38 years, then 35 years before he is even eligible for parole. And remember, eligible for parole does not mean you're going to be released. So a lot of people had write or written or wrote him off. And they were actually, some of them were praying that he remained behind bars. Don't you see it? You could see it. You could tell. Like, a bugger DJ isn't around Vibes Cartel. When he got free from prison, you didn't see the whole dance hall fraternity posting on their status on social media. Yes, the king is home. Vibes Cartel is free. We've been saying free, but they went silently about their business. And you could point out almost all of them, right? One and two here and there, welcome home and this, that and the other. But for the majority of them, that's what it was. And a lot of them, the underlying factor is... They thought with him out the way, because he is such a dominant force, the possibility for them to be able to come reign supreme in the dance hall arena would have been possible. But guess what? I laugh at this all the time because I say it like this. The man gave y'all 13 years to take the throne. 13 years to get in your bag. 13 years for come run this. And you couldn't do it. And now he's back. <laughs> so you definitely ain't gonna do it now. So the park is a number 20 something or 18 or whatever your number is in the genre and continue to climb up the ladder. That's all I'm saying. Now he's addressing those DJs. None of them and, and in his interview he said when they asked him who would you like to be collaborating with soon? And he said, I'm not in a rush to collaborate with nobody. Uh, nobody was in a rush to collaborate with me while I was incarcerated. So I'm not in a rush to collaborate with anybody, which is rightfully so, right? They wrote him off. They thought, eh, stigma attached to that. He's on a murder rap him their prison. He got a life sentence knowing Jamaica, how them hate him in the prison system. He's never coming out. Write him off and go do my thing. So he's basically giving back the same energy. Then he says, but when he touched the mic, when he touched the microphone, you get evict. You see me? To evict means to be kicked out. If your landlord says you're evicted, it means you're kicked out of your apartment. Somebody is getting kicked out of dance hall and I don't know who it is. Me don't want to call nobody name in at this time where it is the king's turn to be addressed. See? So, I'm just saying in general, it could be any one of them. People are gonna fight right now. What I see this look like right now, to me, the man say your career gets shot like Nicki Mini, Nicki Minaj mini skirts. Nicki be wearing some short ass mini skirts. Somebody is now gonna get evicted from dance hall and it's over for them. Not because cartel fighting them, but because they won't be able to hang while he is around. You know what I mean? Um, the man gone with all the oxygen in the room, fam. And <laughs> look, blood. Him gone with all the oxygen in the room. You understand? Some man can't breathe right now. Some artist right now is... <sighs> you ever been in her room and the oxygen gone out of the room yet? He wants no collaboration. And they weren't checking for him. And look, the only people he collaborated with is actually his sons. Liquor Addy and Liquor Vibes. So you already know what that is. Most men can't even afford a Vibes Cartel feature in the first place. So, yo, Liquor Addy and Liquor Vibes, born lucky. The GOAT is your daddy. And then you can go to the GOAT and build songs with the GOAT and put them out and make money off of them. And rise, raise your status in the genre. Oh man, what a, what a place to be in. What a time to be alive. In further into the song now. Praying he stayed in prison. The song continues. It says, your name is gritty. He says, your name is gritty like my daughter. Come here pretty pretty. Your name is gritty like my daughter. Come here pretty pretty. Pretty pretty could mean come here pretty princess. Princess, pretty. Pretty princess, right? And so he was talking in the song and he was like, you're not even gritty like my daughter, which means you ain't hard. Gritty is like hard. Pause. Gritty is like tough. You're not built for this. You're not even tough like my daughter, 
right? Adiana, the man love Adiana to death, and we all know that. Big up to Adiana wherever she's at. Um, so he said that right there, comparing a lot of whoever he's talking to, to you're not even tougher than you. my daughter tougher than you. In the army, they used to say to us, my grandmother in better physical condition than you are, and she is in her 80s. Get up, soldier, run! <laughs> you know what I mean? So that's the kind of comparison he's making. Um, prison did hot, but Ulta road. The heat worse. Wow. The man said, prison did hot, but Ulta road. The heat worse. Me have my own opinion. No need yours. That means a lot of people been giving him all kinds of opinions since you know when he was in prison yet yeah, hot in there as in heat them have no ac in there is like dungeons in there built from slave days and uh, all this and he's saying it hot in there but it also hot in other ways like it's volatile it's, it's prison it's a volatile environment you and a man can kick off quick and war going in there so prison did hot but out of war out of road Works. You have to move a certain way out of road now. You have to have security. You have to make sure sir, your head back well protected. All these things. But not only that, people on your name now. And they in your face now. Right? Because he's free now. So he's saying prison did hot but out of road the heat worse. I have my own opinion. No need yours. He's telling all y'all man, save your friggin' opinion. Ever since Vibe Star Cartel got released, a lot of people been making videos and uh, first of all right me hate every one of them will make video for him because i know them who never not one day in 13 years say free vibes cartel but now they see that he is trending i just said he gone with all the oxygen in the room he's trending heavy so now they're like pick oh shit what what content should i make let's make a content for our views and likes they're looking you know they're looking for views and likes and streaming revenues on their different platforms so how to make some money is to talk about vibes cartel here's some advice to you let me tell you what you need to do vibes cartel already addressed all those people anyways he's like you broke how you trying to tell a millionaire how to get rich kind of thing not only that keep your opinions to yourself man i don't need them may have my own opinion no need yours internet internet accost me about miffy feature some of them are said Sedem and some are said Tanisha. I even did a poll on SoFlow TV and asked the audience, do you prefer to see Vibes Cartel back with Sedem or back with Tanisha? Or do you, which is Shot to Shot Boss, or do you prefer to see him with who he is with right now, which is Sedem? A lot of other people did, did, did the same thing too. It's like, who you want to see him with, right? So he put that in a song. And he said, you know, people are preying him. They're like telling him who he should feature. And everybody has an opinion, her or her. What I want you to do is watch the video closely, right? When him said, when, when he got to the part where he said, Internet accost me about who me for feature. Some of them are say, see them. And some are say, Tani, sure. When he said that, see them was driving in the car, which is the foreign whip. And she is a foreign feature herself. <laughs> right so she driving in the car you can see her in the video she is obviously his woman he's letting the world know that this is his woman right but notice that notice what his hand did when he said Tanisha that what this mean <laughs> and that's him handle when he said Tanisha right um he threw up the middle finger and when he said Sedem, he showed matching tattoos, his name on Sedem and Sedem's name on him. I'm just saying, look for that in the video as well. Say pussy with me, me go sing God. Internet a cost me about who me for feature. Some of them I said Sedem and some I said Tanisha. Aha, leg on me t-shirt. Remember I said a one burn on me turn. One burn on me turn. And it was him and Sidem in the video, and he there squeezing up her backside and all that, you know, giving her affection in the video. For who, those of you who don't understand that, him say, remember, a one burn on my turn. One burn on my turn means he's now with one woman. So he's no longer a gallus. He's professing to the world his love for this one person and his choice to be with one person only. So in my Lego, he's letting go of the bag of gal days and the whole heap of woman different woman days and he's just sticking to see them the one person that he is with right 
So I'm say, leg on me t-shirt. Remember, I set a one burn on me turn. What me do? Leg her, her and keep her? Right. So what, what am I supposed to do? Let go of her and then keep her? Right? All right. Controversy start from the teacher return. Facts. These are the words of the song. Controversy start from the teacher return. Now, in, in ending, this is my summation of all this. The hook is sick. The hook is a whisper. I thought I told you that the comment is coming. I thought I told you that the comment is coming. Right, world boss? I thought I told you that the comment is coming. Very catchy hook. Mad Sus is in the video. Sinem is in the video. He himself is in the video. And his engineer, uh, Red Boom, is in the video as, re as well. Keeping the circle small. He didn't need a bag of people around him to shoot a nice video. And the video is pretty nice as well. Very professionally put together, obviously. You know, over the years, that's one of the things I always said as well. Is how come these other entertainers like them can't put a good video together? Go back and watch all of Vibes Cartel videos. They have like a storyline with them. The video itself is like a mini movie or, you know what I mean? Something like that. So, for 13 years, Cartel gave his fans tough songs. Big songs. Clean videos from behind bars, from behind prison walls. And everybody has been waiting for him to actually be in a video. 13 years. So this is a big deal for all the people who are truly fans of his. Might not be a big deal to you if you're a hater and you're watching or if you're watching and he's just not your cup of tea kind of thing. But for the people who've been watching, you can imagine, right? It's a big deal for them. He's finally in a video in person and he did not disappoint it's the first video that cartel has done in person no artwork no ai just him himself in over a decade in over 13 years he never lost a step though and this is what i noticed in the video he never lost a step his voice is strong his voice is on point i don't know if y'all ever seen some artists they go to jail or prison for a while and when they come back out their voice is gone. The, 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 the octave or the way that they record in, however they measure the voice, is not the same anymore. Vibes Cartel voice is Vibes Cartel voice. It just looked like it got stronger. Kind of like he went to vocal gymnastics when he was in prison or something like that because his voice is very much on point. Strong as ever. His melodies are on point. His ability to flip words Similes make them mean something else and mean something else at the same time and all that still on point his demeanor his style His wordplay everything is intact and you can tell all of that by watching this video This right here tells you that come December 31st It's going to be epic. It's going to be a movie Come December 31st no rust not depend on the man some people go prison and them get rusty I don't see no rust. I don't see nothing in that video that told me, ah, oh, damn, I have a lot of work to do before December 31st come. If you watch that video, you're now you're itching for December 31st to come. Because I'm bad up that video here just now, so I'm no saying I got bad up the stage come December 31st. Right? The comment video, I'm bad up the video. So he's going to bad up the stage come December 31st. It just looked like he took some time off to practice and rehearse. And his physical appearance, that's a big deal. Cause you know when he came out of prison first. One more thing. I noticed in the video, cause I'm paying attention to everything. I pay attention to the way everybody dresses. I'm paying attention to the type of brands that are being shown. Cause something is always being promoted. If you know Vibes Cartel, he's a serial entrepreneur. So I'm looking and a trend and a fashion statement is being made and set every time the man they step out do a video or an appearance, right? It's just like when him come out with the bandana and you know, all that other stuff. Same thing for Clarks. I realize there was no Clarks in that video. Nobody now wearing no bank robber. Nobody now wearing no desert. Nobody not wearing any of them Clarks in the video. So what I did see was Balenciaga sneakers I saw Gucci. I don't know if Gucci... No, I don't think Gucci was in this video. But ever since he came out, he's been wearing Gucci. 
Balenciaga and Air Force Ones. So I'm thinking to myself, has Vibes Cartel given up on Clarks? And he's now endorsing Jordans and Gucci and Balenciaga and Air Force Ones, which is Nike. Is that what it is? Talk around town is this. The talk around the town is that uh, he is done endorsing Clarks. I don't know how true that is. I'm just saying that's what the streets are saying. The streets are saying in these internet streets are saying that he's done endorsing Clarks. Because Clarks, the brand, came to Jamaica recently. And tricky, tricky. Because Clarks had 13 years to come to Jamaica and open up brick and mortar store in Jamaica. Knowing how Clark's, the brand itself, is synonymous with Jamaican culture. But they timed it properly. And as soon as Vibes Cartel release, our release was pending around that time. Boom! Clark's comes to Jamaica and opens up. And when you get the new Clark's, the daddy. And of course, it's busy. Because the people, them want authentic Clark's. Them don't want the Indian Clark's. Them don't want and the Russian clocks, them want authentic clocks. So guess what they did? They up in clocks. Everybody are buy up clocks, right? But there's a problem. <music> what the streets are saying is that other artists got big deals with Clarks. Popcorn, big deal with Clarks. Leela Ike, um, others got big deals with Clarks. But the person who actually put Clarks on the map and made Clarks relevant for this generation of Jamaicans, I would say about, Clarks came out in 2011, 2010, 2011, somewhere in that so, so about we're in 2024, going 2025 soon. So we're talking about uh, a decade and a half. For the last decade and a half, the person who made Clarks relevant is Vibes Cartel. And Vibes Cartel has the influential power to make Clarks not relevant in our culture. Now, I know some of you know, like said, stop talk foolishness, so flow. Clarks are where from long time, from before you born. Listen, listen to me and listen to me good. Clarks are where from before we born. Arrow shirt and um, gabardine pants and whatever the fashions were of yesterday, they were being worn before we were born as well. Here's the thing somebody with influential power can make that brand current again. Right now, if Vibes Cartel take up one of the old brands from back in the day and resurrect it, everybody start wear it again. If, if, if Vibes Cartel right now start wear Carl Canai and then start bust him song and do a remix to Inami Carl Canai with the back like a tall Canai, tough a lie, spliff a lie, spliff, so tell me hi, I bet so everybody go start find Canai if you wear again, right? Them are brands from back in the day, Carl Canai, um, cross colors. If any one of them in touch and say this I want go wear again, I bet you say it wear again. So, my wise advice to Clarks would be. Forget all the fancy talk behind the scenes. My wise advice would be to call a person like Vibes Cartel to the table and cut that check. Have him as an ambassador to your brand on an island like Jamaica. The last thing you need is for Vibes Cartel to start refer to clocks as chop. Me not wear them there again, man. Nobody now wear clocks again. Kick off the clocks. Uh, this I do it, that I do it, that I do it. You might think he can't do it, but if he does it, you're going to see your numbers plummet like crazy. If him jump back in a Clarks right now, before his December show, and him said Clarks are beat for the December show, you're going to have a stadium full of people with turnout in a Clarks. Remember, said me, SoFlo TV, tell you that. And if you don't believe me, ask Sting. <laughs> All right, we're gonna leave this review right here. So big up yourself, manners and respect to each and every one of you tuning in. This is pen and paper review from SoFlo TV. All right, the link is in the description. The link is the first comment pinned. Go click the link, go over to Vibes Cartel Vivo and check out 
the song and video called The Comet. I'm out. Peace. <laughs>